today, we have gathered here to bid farewell to Father Ivan de Silva as he has been transferred to another parish. Hence, we are here to felicitate our dear priest and to show our appreciation for all that he has done for our school during his tenure. Saying goodbye or bidding farewell to someone dear is always difficult. A bittersweet moment. But yet, it gives us immense joy to see Father Ivan continue his hard work in our Lord's vineyard. Today, we will inaugurate our school theme for this academic year, 2023-2024, which is Magical Dunya.
so that the staff could get their salaries on time. He would diligently handle parents, understand their difficulties, and figure out the best solutions in the interest of the students and institution. Father Ivan imbibed these qualities from his family. A master's in economics with BCom and BEd makes him an ideal administrator. Father Ivan hails from Mangalore, Karnataka, but his Marathi can easily defeat any Maharashtrian. Born on 1st Feb 1974, fourth among six children, he shares a strong bond with his three brothers and two sisters. His pastoral journey began when he was ordinated on 30th April 2001 and the journey travels as co-pastor, language study, procurator and vocation promoter through St. Paul's Church and Our Lady of Lourdes Church in Vasai and Vasai Seminary from 2001 to 2008. Now, one can understand the influence of Marathi language on him. From 2008 to 2011, he was director and provincial secretary at Bandra. Later, traveling to Mangalore as rector and prefect SVD Maus Kiran. Coming back to Vasai in 2012 till 2015, father served as rector and vocation promoter and with BH studies. For two years till 2017, he was handed over the responsibility of vice principal and treasurer at St. Arnold's High School and Junior College Angeli. With two more years from 2018 to 2020, him serving as director, Jan Seva Society in Pala, Raigad, he was back with St. Teresa's as treasurer. Father Ivan is presently appointed as vice rector, vocation promoter, and treasurer at SVD Shishalaya and Alka Giris Vasal. Although today we are here to say a farewell to Father Ivan, we all know he has a habit of coming to the same place again sometime or the other in his transfers. We would be so delighted, Father, to have you back and again have the privilege to work with you at St. Teresa's. I hope you will also feel the same delight in working with us in future. In the words of Charles Dickens, the pain of parting is nothing to the joy of meeting again. We would keep the pain in corner of our heart with the hope of meeting you again. Thank you. Ivan, or Father Ivan as a person, 
wherever he goes, he carries a heart that never hates. He carries a smile that never fades. And he carries a touch that never hurts. Father Ivan, we have seen him during the last three years. In fact, both of us came into St. Teresa's at the same time. Only a few days difference. We, we have seen him during the last three years. From early morning to late evening at his desk. Attending to all the matters pertaining to the school. From attending to parents. To dealing with the accounts. From running to BMC. To the banks maintaining the infrastructure and keeping ready all the facilities for the smooth running of the school. He is known wherever he goes for his hard work, for his commitment and for the dedication with which he works at every, every, every responsibility that is given to him. And the same I found here. At times you have seen him when there was nobody around here in the school. He was found solitary at his desk, diligently carrying out his duties. Dear Father Ivan, you have already moved out from this place because what I understand is that you love variety, you love change, and that's why you go into different ministry from administration to uh, seminary formation to pastoral work to office work and to and also to the mission in Tala in the Raigad district that you spent a couple of years there. You love changes, you love variety, you love ex different kinds of experiences. On this day, as you have, you are moving out to another place after having served this educational institution during the last year. On behalf of the management, the teachers, students, and the non-teaching staff, I want to express my sincere gratitude for all that you have done for this institution. There is no doubt you have done your task beautifully and to the completion and you have made everything smooth and for, smooth for everyone to function here in this school. As you, we thank you very much sincerely for all that you have done and as you go to another ministry, another place on behalf of all the people who are present here, I wish you God's blessings for good health and happiness that whatever you do, enjoy it to the, to the best. Thank you, Father Ivan, and God bless you in whatever you do.
Chinese children already from second uh, onwards. So, uh, and they are teachers, not teaching staff, not teaching staff, and some are not seen. And my dear Michael, who is there, I don't know. 24 hours service was doing to me, okay? Uh, on this day, first of all, I would like to thank, uh, uh, beginning with uh, teacher Alvida. Uh, she sent me a message just uh, three, four days. Father, I think it was a dear from Chabatha. Then I, did, I told her, don't tell anything, just say thank you. One word I wrote. But when she said today, it went I think, three and a half pages. Of course, I, with my great heart, I acknowledge what she said. For each word she, had, she said about me, some maybe what I did, maybe experience, I mean, not, not experience, but all that experience she said, I'm grateful to her, what she observed and all the teachers observed. And also Father Henry, who spoke on behalf of the management, my little contribution that I could make when I was here. Uh, that's why, first of all, thank you for both uh, for the manager, for the Hindi, and the teacher Alvida for your beautiful words. And uh, on this day, I maybe, uh, when I came, last time on May 1st, I had come with a paper, so I thought, <laughs> come with the paper, I will just say a few words and uh, thank each one of you. I would like to thank you, as you said, when I came here, previous time it was a very pleasant time. All the school was running in a full and all was happening the way a school was supposed to function. But when I came for the second time, most of the time in the school there are only two persons who are present. Can you tell me who are those? Of course, Michael, three people. Michael, Father, Nikki, and myself. And of course, to take our sometimes uh, physical need for some tea, coffee, Michael was present, but we were not disturbing him because he himself is about 60. We didn't mind tea, we didn't mind coffee, but we were here every day. And that was three, those three years were the beautiful years that I spent. Of course, I have what I can narrate number of the experiences that I had, but one of the experiences that we had was during Corona time. I can narrate it for two hours what happened during that year because most of you are not here. And that was only possible because Father Nikki's uh, complete support to me and every parent who came here with uh, two masks, three masks without knowing who they are, but we could attend them. And after that also next year, around eight months nobody was here, three months students came. And of course last year was a full-fledged school, we had no much difficulty. Yes, of course this uh, school has taught me so much. and. Uh, what Father uh, Henry said, Teacher Amida said, I agree to what they said. It was a really tough time, but it was a learning time for, uh, time for me also. Because this sort of situation I never came across in your life. Also, the Corona part has taught you many things. And in our, in our lives, it has taught many things. How to deal with the parents, how to be a little bit polite with them, how to issue their, deal with their fee issues, how to send them in spite of difficulty joyfully. I think I can assure you, I'm not posting myself. Those parents who came to me after meeting Father Nikis, getting his advice, none of them went angry or with a sad face. All went smiling because they knew what was our situation all about. So that was a great thing for me. So I would like to begin with thanking Father Henry. As he said many things about me, the main driver, if you take it, uh, local train, but uh, before what? The locomotive driver is Father Henry, he is the manager. Under his guidance, we work, and of course, his timely guidance and uh, all the times having his uh, meetings and giving us support to the entire management team on, and his experience, immense experience in this field of counseling and other fields, giving uh, seminars to the teachers, the, uh, seminars to the people in the corporate world and understanding how to go about many more things he has taught us. Father, we are grateful to you for all, all that you did to me personally. Also, oh, as I said to me for the entire the management team, can, uh, including Father Shinoi, myself and uh, Father, of course, uh, Father Riki as the principal. Second, I was a short uh, thought. I would like to thank Father 
Nikki, I, it was really a blessing for me to work with. This is my uh, third farewell uh, here in the church. But always I said it for uh, it was for me it was very easy to work here. It was because I had a person uh, with the name I call him Father Nikki. Uh, but I would always if he's individually in front of me, I will call Nikki. Otherwise, in front of everybody, if for me was his principal, I would I would I made a point to call him Nikki. And all his guidance. All his corrections and all that he taught me during those three years and the previous year and all that happened, I think immensely I will treasure in my heart. Though I may continue to teach, I don't know, some, uh, somebody wished me to and that I come back. Probably I may not come back to the education field, but wherever I am there, that will help me. And I am grateful to uh, Father Nikki for all that fraternal corrections, calling me personally and teaching me many things. Uh, I'm grateful to him and I would like to say a big thank you for the Nikki, Nikki. And also I'm a little uh, grateful to God that I was a little bit, uh, not a little bit, I was um, uh, luckily God, God brought me that uh, last year when Father Nikki had to go a very difficult time and I was in the school and uh, I could at least uh, share his pain when he was struggling a bit and that was God's blessing probably for me and for all for the Hindu also was here and that is what happened and all that we learned from each other I'm grateful to him and I pray that God will continue to give him good health till he retires from St. Teresa High School. Okay, full 60 years. This is the ice set, but I'm not a provincial, I don't put it. <laughs> and thirdly, I just would like to thank Father Shivan. I don't call him Father Rose, he's my brother only. He took, it, uh, took my job from second, and after that I hear all things are functioning very smoothly. Hey, that magical one has come in the school. After my going, everything works like a magic now. I don't know what he has done. He has done some new magic here. And he tells me, I will mean, not go anywhere. I, whenever I go through people running the magical square and everything gets all well. Wonderful. I am very really happy about it. And if things are happening for the school, it should happen. We all of us are part of the school. And if all of us work for the school together as a one team, I think school will also work in many uh, works and uh, does many things in a good manner. So discipline wise, looking around, now he is taking the responsibility. I wish him all the best. Of course, the, the responsibility that he handles is a little bit, little bit uh, difficult one because of the government compliances. You may not know. You also struggle with one form. Father, give us uh, income tax uh, 16D. Uh, we have got 16 years of purpose, starting from 16 years to 16 years. We have to submit to the auditors. So it is a bit of job, but he has taken the responsibility with the support of other fathers also with the management. I am very sure he will do well. So thank uh, Father Shinoy and wish him all the best. And uh, before I conclude, I would like to teach all the secondary teachers, clerical, non-clerical staff, they were very kind to me. I can proudly say I had no, no difficulty in handling with any of the secondary teachers. It is not to say that I had a problem with the primary teachers, same thing. But all of them were very cooperative. Thank you. Continue your uh, support and encouragement for the new team, especially for the Shivai when he connects you with the, regarding the fee issues. Also, I would like to thank the persons whom I closed to work with the office. Uh, Melba is not here probably, she will be in the afternoon. Uh, of course, Priyanka and Monica who came later on. I don't know how much I could help them, but they have put their best um, in doing things and putting things uh, in order. What Rathod had uh, made at least some work. Now it has taken a little bit better shape. Things are in better shape and with the maximum interest taken by the management this year with the Father Henry and Father Nadiki. Up in arms to get the things uh, in proper order, things are getting better. I think all things will fall in line. So I thank everyone. I do not know anybody I left alone. I, when I look at that side, Rosario sir, I can see. Rosario sir, I am grateful to you also for your support whenever I need it and all those people who help the school. Not me personally, for the school. Grateful to you. God bless you. Wish you all the best. Let magical dunya begin. My holiday is going to begin today, I think. It begin. But the food, I, when I saw the word, this is magical dunya, I like the first word, magical. 
that dunya is of course in the world, but if they are in the world, the magic happens, then many more good things will happen. So wish you all the best. You may see me here and there, sometimes coming to the school for some, uh, maybe some uh, Thank you. 
to be used. Same way in the old areas that we do. When we take the example of academics, I may not be good at studies, but if we add little extra energy, little extra hard work, little extra commitment, little extra time, then we will be able to do magic or create magic in academic performance. It is not that we enjoy the beauty in the or the magic in the wonders of the world. It's not that we enjoy only the beauty or the magic in the adventures of the world or in other things of the world. But it is more than or it is beyond that. It is that we create magic in our lives. The world is in our hands. The opportunities are there. So we need to use and grab it. We use it to grab and then use it. And then finally we want to conclude with uh, just five words. Dream, hope, trust, believe and act. If you dream, if you hope, if you trust, if you believe and finally if you are, I think we can make magic in the world. Magic within ourselves, magic within others. So we wish you all the very best for this academic year and wish others, especially Father Ivan, for your new ministry. God bless all of you. Thank you. In the silence of your heart, today we will pray for Father Ivan and Father Shinon. Dear Lord, we thank you for your gift of life and for gathering us as one family to begin this new academic year invoking your blessings. We thank you for the gift of Father Ivan in our midst. We thank you for all the talents, virtues and hard work he shared for the growth of this institution. Now, as he moves ahead for his new assignment, we pray that your loving guidance and protection be with him always. May he be blessed with wisdom and vigor to achieve success in all his future endeavors. We also thank you for the gift of Father Shinon. We lift him in prayers as he takes charge as a new school admin. May our words empower his strength and give thoughts and with your holy hands, lead him on the path of new responsibilities. Lord, may Father Ayman and Father Shinoy be the good shepherd of their flock and continue to grow in your grace, love and faith. Amen. Uh, we have this new team which will be introduced soon. And I thought of choosing a mother to do this for us. Mother is the most important person for us and we have a mother in the school who knows every nook and corner of the school, who spontaneously does things even without telling. And probably we can say she is the one who runs around just like mothers and makes sure that the school is in a, in a place where it should be most experienced person in the school than any of us and she knows everything. Can you guess the person? It's none other than Tija Jacinta. May I request Tija Jacinta to come up with the banner on the stage please and the boys to get ready for the inauguration of unveiling of our new school annual theme.
That explanation also is given. And it also says we can work magic by becoming good persons, by becoming worthy persons. That is the summary, summary of all, that we have dreams and we need to put them to reality. So that's our school annual theme. As we already welcomed Father Shinoi and also teacher Cynthia, once again it's my privilege to welcome both of them to the school as the head of the institute. Father Shinoi is not new to me. We were together in Pune and we are, we are both, both basketball players. So we used to play a lot of basketball in Pune. I just want to summarize him in three qualities. He is a perfectionist. Anything that is get done to him, he will make sure that it is done 100%. He will tell you this is what it is. He doesn't care. And the third one is he is capable. You give him anything, you, he, I can rest assured that it will be done for him. With my experience of Pune and with some time that I have interacted with him, I am very happy to know that you are in our school and to work with you. So welcome, uh, hearty welcome to you in our school. <laughs> I don't want to talk more. People have spoken. Just want to summarize. When Father Ivan came first time to school, I said, choose what you want, accept my post. So I said, Vice Principal, Primary in charge, KJ in charge, choose what you want. He said, no, I will stick to my post of being the treasurer or the administrator. And for the information, he is the first priest administrator of our school. I think we need to give a big round of applause because he has Before that, things were in the sick people of the lay people and then we thought we need a priest to also have this. And his place in the, in the school, I would say, he was a sincere priest who loved the school. Right from being in the desk, in the cabin, to become the PR of the whole school, he was the face of the school. If I go in public and both of us stand together and ask people who is the principal, they will point out and say, yeah, hey, principal. Because he was the one who was doing all the things for the people and my job was just to sit in the chair and sign. It was much easier for me. Another thing what is that is he got the most scoldings from me than anyone else, even though I am younger to him, junior to him, but that chair is a black chair and it's full of scolding. And he got the maximum number of scoldings when things were not happening, things were not going on, I would just go and scold him. That's the Father Ivan, he'll quietly listen, get the things done and make it do it with commitment and with his full heart. He is a friend and brother to me. Just one last sentence that I want to use. <laughs> Only time he scolded me when he was with me was, you better go to hospital and check yourself. He said, you are going all around and telling people to take care of their health and you are not taking care of your health. And because he said that, I went to hospital and that is how, how I realized I had problem. Grateful for him because the day I went to hospital, they said you are getting admitted. I immediately called him because I didn't know whom to call. I was there getting me admitted, come fast, I don't want to remain here. Within no time he was there and right from there, till I got well, he did all the things like a brother, friend and maybe a mother. I should just call him, not call anyone, I want, I want this, I want this, this thing to be done. In spite of the school work, he would run to Anjali, be there for me. So I am grateful for you, Ivan, for all that you are there. And wish you all the best in your new assignment. Again, another very tough time. I do not know how we are going to be in two places. You are supposed to be in the house, taking care of the house. At the same time, you are supposed to go all over Maharashtra and get boys to become priests. How we will do that task, I do not know. May God bless you to be there and all the best to you. I just want to have a song for you.
Thank you, Father Nikki, Teacher Jacinta, and our students for putting up a wonderful performance. And I believe, Father Nikki, we will truly create a magic in whatever we do.